Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today I'm working on Hope Runs Deep. I'm almost all the way across. I'm going to back you out so you can see what I've gotten done. Whoops. Yeah, let me back you out and then I go the wrong way. That sounds familiar. We'll go real slow down here. Oops, got to go over everything. So we started at the deer. Down here in the grass. We got part of this house done and some more buildings in here and right now we're right about at this end so how's everybody doing I hope everybody's having a good day is everybody ready for your, the weekend and everything yay I get to go back to work isn't that exciting yay so I haven't done much all day I went to uh, breakfast with my granddaughter and my daughter we had a good time as usual and then of course we had to go and do some shopping sorry about the dog she's been barking all day because the people behind us got a new dog so she thinks she has to bark 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 oh yeah it's been a special day and then I took a two and a half hour nap I just couldn't deal anymore I just had to lay down sometimes you just need to catch up on sleep when you can and just passed right out so it might have been too, longer than two and a half hours but it was close to that oh I did go to the grocery store and go grocery shopping yay Ooh. in between all that so I was just kind of done in and I watched um, I started watching the Highland not Highlander Outlander sorry Highlanders, that movie with Sean Connery. Well, series. I think it was a series. A series of three movies. Let's call it that. But, um, haven't seen that in a while. Just love Sean Connery. Yep. Always loved Sean Connery. But, uh, can't remember that movie that he was in with, uh, Catherine Zeta Jones. God, it's been years. But, I haven't seen that one in a while either, and I've forgotten what it was. He was a, a retired thief, and they were out to steal some kind of um, famous work of art. I don't remember quite how that goes, but I can't even remember the name of that movie. Oh, so if anybody knows that, you know, you can just feel free to put that in the comments because Laura is just totally brain dead today. You ever just hit your brick wall and you just can't deal? I mean, I have gone around and around since I got up from this nap on what I wanted to do. I mean, I started working on this. So I got about that much, this much of that part done. And then now I wanted to stitch. So, you know, I went over there and I looked at all the stitch things. I've just got too much going. I wish I could just leave this on this table and say, I'm not going to move it until I finish. And that is not how that goes. And I've looked high and I've looked low for that stupid uh, bag of drills. I figured I dropped it, you know, last night when I was kitting it up for that other thing but and I looked through all my diamond art club stuff and it's just one obscure little thing I cannot and I looked through like ones I finished to see if they used that color I don't even know what shade it is so I'll just wing it um you know I'll figure out what it is in the thing and I've got plenty of drills you know that if I need a shade of purple or a shade of blue or whatever and I only need I need less than a hundred drills so it, it's just beyond me I I've never had that happen I mean and in all fairness to them it might have been there and it might not have been there I have no idea so I don't know what happened to it just don't get it at all but, you know, I have never really lost any drills. In fact, one time I was sitting on my couch and I was doing some stitching stuff. And 
I kind of dropped a bag of uh, my thread down the side of the couch and I went to go retrieve it because I could still see it and lo and behold there was like six or eight of one kind of drills and I have no idea where it came from or what kit because I used to sit on the couch and uh, do um, you know like my inventory to make sure everything was there before I put it away because I at that point I was just accumulating the diamond paintings and wasn't, you know, filming everything back then. So, I have no idea what it goes to. But, and I don't know what I did with it now to this day. So, you know, who knows. I did receive uh, one diamond painting a long time ago. And I think I got it, I kind of want to say it was a hula can. And it had like... 40 some colors in it and it could have come from that I, I just I have no idea none not a none for 340 this has a lot of colors it has 49 colors in it so they're all in my my square boxes like so and it, sometimes I have to keep them in order or I can't find a darn thing that I want. Where did that go? Three, four. But I just, I, I, I ugh, it's time to clean off my tables again. And I looked today when I was out um, to see if I could find some kind of a drawer thing that I could put these, um, let me show you, these, these little things in that I keep my beads in so that I could maybe set it on here and then just put them in there until I got ready to use them again. But it seems like this week I'm kind of stuck on working on the peacock. And the other thing I worked on was um, one of my uh, seasoned Chinese women. I did part of the bottom of it, but I just... I. I I don't know. I, sometimes when the seasons change, I get this way. I get more wishy-washy than I usually am. And I can't decide what I want to work on. Nothing sounds like anything I want to do. I just, I'm just done. I just, I can't. So, and when I get that way, I try to focus on just one thing. So that's why I'm on this. You know, because it takes my mind off of trying to figure out what I want to work on or what I haven't worked on or what's still stacked up over there. I just, I can just focus on one. So, I don't know. Whatever you do, guys, don't open more than one diamond painting or one stitch project at a time. Because you'll find yourself with, like I am, I've got 50 projects out there, I swear. Well, it's close to 20. Absolutely close to 20. And I just, I don't want to look at any of them. I just, I don't know. I love them. I, I do. And I wish I could just blink my eyes and they'd all be sewn. But I don't think that's going to happen. And some of them, they're just so daunting. It's like, what the hell was I thinking? I just, oh, I went to uh, Amazon today. And I didn't buy the hoops like I said I was going to. I did buy a new scroll, and it's supposed to be a tabletop or laptop scroll, and it's not very big, so I thought if it was, um, what do you call it, you know, a long enough this way, you know, the this way that I could put that peacock thing on it. But, and that's another thing that comes up. You know, I think, well, if I put the peacock on there, then I can't work on so-and-so, and I can't work on this or that. But that one is the most limp of all of them, you know, that I've got. And the, the wealth one, the little gold one with all the different size beads in it, it's not big enough to go on that kind of a thing. So, I don't know. You see? Dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. I bought, I think, God, it's been a long day, 
two more stitch projects. I think they were from Joy Sunday. I can't even remember anymore. I I, I just don't know. I, I don't know. And I hate when I get that way because I end up buying crap that I really don't... You know, it, it interests me at the time and just kind of go on 3755. But... And you, you just want to work on everything at one time and you, you're just not capable. I mean... I wish I had one whole wall where I could just hang up all the diamond paintings or hang up all the stitch things that I was working on. You know, I just don't know. The sky is pretty. It looks better in camera than it does, you know, so close. I mean, I've been working on it. I When I did all this up through this way, I wasn't paying attention to what it was. I was just following the color and doing it. So, I don't know. I, I got to get my mojo back, guys. I just, ugh. I feel washed out. So, sometimes out of sight is out of mind. So, I may have to just put it all away and take them out one at a time and just work on them one at a time. I, I don't know. Have like one stitch project and one diamond painting thing, but you know that just so isn't me because I see something and it's new and I really want to do it and <sighs> I'm a mess. Just a mess. And I realized my first anniversary of diamond painting is coming up I've been working on diamond painting since September 15th of last year and I don't think I've finished more than 10 or so diamond paintings. I started a lot but I haven't finished a lot. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just sick of all this stuff laying out in and and this maybe losing those drills has kind of opened my eyes to the fact that I have way too much out and it's all gonna get lost or confused or something I don't know maybe I'm just getting paranoid because I don't want that to happen because eventually I'd like to to finish these things three seven three that's a pretty color. Must be a little pink cloud right here. I have no idea what it is, but we're just going to put the drills where it says to put the drills. I was watching uh, Mrs. Coffee and she had one of the, the new releases from Diamond Art Club. Once again, not interested. Um, you know, I just don't go for people and faces and the girls with the flowers in their hair and all that. I mean, I, I didn't like them. I mean, they're pretty, but it just didn't appeal to me. But, uh, that Santa one is pretty, but it, I don't have little kids that could benefit from that, you know? I mean, I have grandkids, sure, but, you know. Because if I make one, you know I'll have to make two. And that's not happening. I can't even get one done. They'll be out of high school before I finish both of them. No. But it was cute, you know. And I'm glad they're trying to appeal to a different market, you know. But I like the Chuck Chuck Pinson. I always try to get that N in there before I get started. Uh, ones, you know, that are landscape. They don't bother me. I, I like them because it's kind of a change of pace than from doing uh, Mandy Manzano because that's the only that and JoJo's Arts are the only three that I usually buy from at uh, Diamond Art Club. So I don't know. It, it, I don't know what it is.
<sighs> just a weird time of year, I guess. And it's getting down like 43 degrees in the morning here. So, and not getting up to, it's got up to 75, I think, today. And it was kind of, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, kind of cloudy. So, yeah, winter's coming. I can feel it. And it doesn't bother me that much. Oh, come on. Where is that sort of thing? Jeez. All right. 823. I do that every time I go looking for that one. 823. I just need one. Come on. So, I don't know. But, yeah, it's it'll be a year in September. Sorry. And, I mean, I, I don't even want to go and count how many diamond paintings or stitch projects I have. I have no interest to know. I just know I have enough for right now. Unless something comes along with uh, DAC. I just, I just, I'm sick of looking. I mean, just absolutely sick and tired of looking. Unless I see something on somebody else's channel and think, oh, well, that, that was pretty, you know. Eh. Just not into it. At least not this week. I love that blue. I don't know if you can see that or not. Whoop. Where is it? It's really pretty. Let me pour it in here. It's kind of a royal blue. So I'm going to drag you down just a little. Oh, whoa, crap. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It's just gorgeous. Oops, sorry. If I leave it there, it'll fall over. You know, but oh my God, it's just being a pain today. Oh. Sometimes you just get it too tight. There we go. It loses its center of balance, you know. Oh, well. let's see. What else did I look? At? Oh, I bought my oolong tea and my Darjeeling. That's how I, you're supposed to say that. I've always loved Darjeeling tea. I don't know what it is. Because I'm not a treat tea drinker. I mean, not on a consistent basis. I like my double spice chai that I get from the Stash Tea Company. But usually that. And I have some uh, jasmine green tea. Green tea with jasmine flowers or something in it. I think it was from Twangs, 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 however you say that, and that, that's it, and I don't drink it all the time, um, I, every once in a while I will drink a, a cup of Earl Grey tea, but I usually drink it in the winter time when I'm really cold, because tea just gets to your bones, and you just drink it, and it makes you warm up immediately so unlike coffee I don't know why that is or what it is about it hey we're almost finished with that little part yay looks like there's another house like right back in right up here somewhere maybe a couple houses I can't tell but yeah I love this painting it is so pretty and I love the colors so hopefully the colors will turn out as muted if you will I don't know it's and it's another one of those things it's got so much going on you're gonna have to look at it from a distance which is okay because that's the way it's supposed to be but and sometimes I'll be like uh, Citrice said you know you come into a room and you see the diamond painting from a distance and you go wow was that what I was working on so yeah it, it just comes to you you know you're not paying attention because you're so damn busy putting the stupid drills on that you just come back here you I put it on the plastic instead of on the painting that's funny and I like this I like 
how it changes colors pretty fast. You don't have to work big blocks of color. God, I cannot stand big blocks of color. It just drives me nuts. Now, maybe in the sky there might be some big blocks, but, you know, over here on the sides, it seems, and like the houses and stuff, but they're not huge, you know, and you don't get sick of them so fast. I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind, guys. It has lots of blues and purples, purple shades. I love that purple. Ugh, it's like an orchid. Mm mm. Yep. Reminds me of the purple in pansies. Let's see. Okay, I think I can back you up. Whoops. I don't try to go straight across and even and all that stuff. It is, it's too much technical crap for me. Hang on, guys. Lifting, moving. There we go. Oh, yeah, and I went to lift the, the plastic again. And damn thing ripped I, totally in about eight different directions. I was like, what the hell? So I had, to, I had a weird part that I had to do. Let's just push that back. Okay, coming, coming, coming forward. I have to stand up. Hang on, guys. I lost you. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. All right. Is that better? It sure is pretty that these colors are like Sorry, my eye itches. Um, like peaches. Like one is salmon and the other one is a peach color. Okay. Let's see. P. 352. Three, I guess it's a little oranger. It's like a dark peach. Of course, I missed the whole thing. Probably need to get some more stuff in my my pen here. So. Yeah, I don't know how busy it's going to be at work tomorrow. It's kind of the weekend after the kids started to school, so I don't know what to expect. And then next weekend is the big concert mess. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's a nightmare. It, it It's just coming, and I'm just not in the mood. Nope, nope, nope. I just want it to be over with because that's the last blowout of the, the summer we're hoping you know where any great influx of people will be coming in but uh, can't no. didn't know how far up I put that sometimes I put it way far up and sometimes not so much oh that was actually a pee I really have to straighten these drills. This, uh, sorry. This, um, glue is really, um, hard to move things around. Some of them that I've had, you know, I mean, you could just real easily, but not this glue. And which is good. I like that it sticks the drills and they're not going anywhere. And you know that if you touch it, it's not going to slide. And I haven't had it to that extreme, not with Diamond Art Club, but, uh, and some of them, you know, some of the cheaper ones that I bought, not Diamond Art Club, but off of Amazon or AliExpress, 
I mean, you could just slide the, the drill all the way across the, the whole piece of canvas, so. Started watching uh, Outlander, and that's okay. I don't know. It's not my time period. I don't really watch those things. I mean, it begins in my time period because I like the, the 20s, 30s, and 40s, but, um, and the 50s. But, um, yeah, that Celtic thing in 16 or 1700 is just a little, a little much. And, uh, I got enough of that with Braveheart, thanks. I know it was even further back, but, eh, no, no it just never appealed to me. But I thought I'd start watching I'm sick of watching Grey's Anatomy for about the 90th time. But it's something I can put on and stitch and not have to pay too close attention because I know what's going on. It's familiar. But, uh, yeah. Haven't found anything else on... Oh, I watched um, Juniper Juniper Ascending. Now that was a good movie. And I really don't like... What do you call it? Science fiction movies? Um, but it was pretty good. And I can't think of that lady that was in it. It had Tanum, Tan, Chatum. Oh, Tan, I can't. Channing Tatum, is that how you say his name, or the other way around? I don't know. Shows you what I do. Um, he was in it, and is it Mila Kunis? Something to that effect. I know I'm probably saying their names wrong. But uh, it was really good. And I'd never seen that before. My told my daughter about it. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. I'm like, yeah, I know. Grandma doesn't watch much. But, uh, oh, well. But that's the only new movie I watched. Oh, I watched another one. I don't think it was... It was called Secret Obsession, and it had this black guy in it. It wasn't like Morgan Freeman. He's younger than Morgan Freeman, I believe, that played the cop in that, and I didn't recognize anybody else. I mean, it didn't mean anything to me who they were, but it was kind of a good movie about this lady that got in an accident, and her husband, you know, comes to see how she is, and, you know, he ends up taking her home, and I won't spoil the rest, but... No, there is something wrong with that whole scenario. So, But uh, if you get a chance to watch that one, that one was pretty good. And there's that other color. It's, it's kind of a pinky salmon. I'm terrible at naming colors. I just know what goes with what, you know. But, So I didn't do much of anything on my big two days off. I just kind of vegged and relaxed and eh, not much. Just couldn't get the energy up to do anything. I don't know. Maybe I'm having a midlife crisis. Oh, that's what my diamond paintings and stitches are. They're midlife crises. Yeah. I'm having one of those, all right. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't find anything that just appealed to me. I'm just, don't you just get tired of looking at crap? It's like all looking the same after a while. And I didn't want to go and buy another big one, you know. What the hell's the use? I can't even finish what I got. So, I don't know. But they're going to have fun at the old folks' home. We're just going to get a huge frame because by then we'll be able to afford it. You see how that goes? We'll have lots of money. And uh, we'll get a great big huge frame. We'll just put it in the, the common room and everybody can stitch on it. And watch. Nobody will be able to see it because they've all lost their eyesight. That, you know, that, that's a startling thing to think about, you know. I, I don't know. Yeah. 
you take it all for granted and then when it's not there you know it's just too sad because I would go nuts if I lost my eyesight I just I would curl up in a ball and die although there was a blind painter way back and uh, I would say I think it was late 1800s who painted I don't know how that all happened or how it all came about I haven't read her life story I think it was a woman and she painted a picture of a woman on a hill I want to say her name was Worth but I'm, that, that might be wrong but uh, oh and then I watched this thing on uh, YouTube and it's it, it kind of reminded me of a um, oh you know the BBC channels if you will and um, they were t they do one house at a time like somebody has bought one of the old let's say castles or something there in England or wherever it is and um, they're redoing it and restoring it and this one guy had bought this old castle and they also do the history on the house and find out who built it and who owned it and how long and the history behind the house and why it was in ruins and when it became in ruins and and everything and there was a guy that bought one uh, in Pembroke and uh, the guy that had built the house originally was um, one of the coal C-O-A-L coal magnets as in heating coal um, and it was really interesting this poor guy he's trying to make it all into a house he finally got windows in it and a door but I mean, there's still, I mean, it, it's sat there for a hundred years and probably was abandoned by the beginning of the last century, you know, I mean, I don't know. You wonder about the total foundation of the whole place and how solid it is. It, that'd be a daunting task, so, you know, hey, wish him luck. But it was kind of interesting to hear the, the history on it. I have to put my pin on the number that I'm looking for so I know what when I come back what I'm going after here Three, four. okay make sure it was a four and not an A but um, yeah and I guess it's a series so I didn't look at any others but I get hung up in these kind of things and it's fascinating either that or I'm just so bored I need somebody to just tell me a whole bunch of facts that I'll never ever remember I don't know it's bizarre but, uh, all right. I think I'm gonna finish this fours here whoops maybe and then we're gonna call it a day I need a a Bach break all right so it's coming along. I guess that's the sky, and then these are the trees down in here. That's about all I can think of. But, all right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today and listening to me drone on and on and on. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a great day and a good weekend. God bless. Bye-bye.